Hello everybody, Hunter here with some more Hogwarts Legacy. This is part 7 of my playthrough where we just made our way back to Hogwarts after collecting Arne's carts when we retrieving them. So we're back here now to take Herbology class. This is our next main quest. So here we go, let's get to it. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, that happened. I've been here before. Interact. Oh, apparently I have because I've opened that chest. Rebellion. Can't remember being in this part of the school. There's a statue on our side and the chest and look is locked behind a lower mora, which I do not have. Definitely I'm being in here. Yeah, I would have remembered this. There's stuff inside this one I need to have with. Rebellion. It's like something by the tree, it sounds like. There you go, but there, look. So I went straight past this. It's just not on the front of the back, it's on the side of the tree. We get a page! Look at all this stuff locked behind them a little more. All stuff I cannot get to. Let's unlock the flu flame. Nice to see you, my young friend. Another one locked behind a little more. Right, here we go. Wait for class. I'm being in this class yet. Wonder what we learn. Um, begin quest. Here we go. Oh my god, look at her clothes. Already my favourite oh, teacher, of amazing fashion design. To see you again, Professor dear. Garlic. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> We've already met everybody. To It is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Whatever that means. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh, that's a screaming plant, isn't it, from the movie? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Yeah, it's the screaming one from the movie. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Firm <laughs> tug. Like we can hear you. <laughs> so is that what I learned in this class? The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Sorry, dear. Work, everyone. That was a quick class. I was expecting a lot more. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrake. Revelio. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. They talking about hippogriffs, I want one, I want one. I'm just having a look to see if there's anything else to collect. For the future, you know, we got like all seeds or whatever. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the Really? 
Oh, you go. We needed those for Merlin's quests. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. I nearly went there. I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You oh, yeah! Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare. We also picked a portion stuff, so we should have portion class next. Now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it Hot table in, that. in the Wiganweld potion. As you all Growth know, time ten Charles minutes. Class. Plant size small. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora: the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. <laughs> They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your That's the other one that was locked. Is kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. You saw I'll me, did you? The Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. <laughs> Didn't he notice? Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. Sitting up there. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a Rebellion. dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. Anything else? I'm going to explore it all. It's got to be, surely. Why put the path for you if there's nothing here? That's just a long way around to where we came from. God damn, man. Not even a page to collect. That's what we haven't seen like, one of those pages floating about in a while. Have I collected all there is to collect of them? Um, around here, down here. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Wow. I love this room. I'm collecting so much. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages out. Ooh. They'll Rebellio. Hold L1 and tap bar to move the wheel. Okay. Anything they can get their uh, mouths on. You can't pick it back <laughs> up after that. Summoned her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Wow. My kind of plants, not like stupid booba tubes. That's the first curse word all the kind of game. Have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. And I suppose they could come in handy, sure, but that's just the dummy. I was imagining it already. <laughs> I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. 
Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to... I wonder what to dogweed is. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. So we've got a lot of... Oh, I can see the summon stuff on the right. Look. So you... Yeah. Some giant thing with... Uh, tusks, I think. There's a bird and... It looks like two ones touching. Wonder what that could be. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> no. Oh, it might be the broom stick. I think I can remember an image I got on when people were flying on the broom in the trailer. Okay, not that way. Really? It's a shortcut there along. Wrong way, doofus. Yes, Hunter, you go this way, you're an idiot. Hunter, come on. You've been here like five minutes ago. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The Five minutes best left. Time is now. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. <laughs> and good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. It's a visual bug, then, wasn't it? A kind of when, um, dark. As a man, plants. Offer so much. Okay. Magical plants have so much to offer. It's like when a pants out zooms off the colour and the scene God. changes. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden and it will tend to you. It must be a contrast <gasps> bug. I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Quest complete. Oh, so close to leveling. So I think next would be potion class, right? We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. All right, okay, let's check our um, quest tab. Let's see what we got next. Potion class, yeah, um, level four required. The next class I must attend is potions. It is toss by Professor Sharp. Track quest. Um, yeah, we aren't going anything new to unlock. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. It's the wall talking to us. All the students going to the next class like me. Okay, it's this way. Have I been in this room? Oh yeah, that's the one with the locked door. Okay, let's run. Oh, is this a... Let's have a look at the floor. I was by you in a previous video trying to solve a puzzle and I couldn't find the third lock, I thought. Have a little look around by you just before. Oh, wow. I don't see her. I was on about this puzzle by you. I see one by there and there's one up the stairs. We're missing a third one. Just didn't know where it was. All the statues do something different then. Revelio. Definitely I'm being in this room. Okay, no other jingles means there's nothing else to collect in this room. And I see a chest. The game. Okay, let's get that. What we got? Some glasses. Let's begin. We got a bad leg. Who 
oceans is one of the most challenging and hazardous oh, it looks like he's been through the some As fifth years, fighting. you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Should have asked me, and I could have had some points as well. <laughs> each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Wow, his acting's brilliant goes perfectly with his animations. Whoever they hired the voice actor for this guy is brilliant. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Um, that way. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Don't worry, we've been collecting we'll everything we've seen. Brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the room. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? You should correct me. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. He kind of looks like me, my you? twin, doesn't he? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fuiper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fuiper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Something tells me I'm going to get in trouble for this, but we'll see. Remember, precision is... Yes, this is when we came in, taught me chest. Your potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell. There he is. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result Revelio. Huh, when do I didn't see that? So endurance potion. We can also make Felix Felix. What does this enhance the drinker's chances of success in their endeavors? By revealing the location of large loop chest. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's make this. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! 
Hell, set up a bunch of fireworks. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Ah, uh, what? Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Great, I'm in trouble too. So not only did other um other like classes get the or oh, was they called houses get points, we lost points <laughs> all because of that game. I know I should have done it. Just showing the kid. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather he knows. busy helping Mr. Weasley <laughs> he knows. brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. That's pretty in easy, not potions. a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Quest complete. Yay, we leveled up. Got a bit more HP. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's Well, we've done all the, the quests, so I'm waiting for like I'm guessing mess so you go. Our house ghost is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Okay. Neely Headless Nick is looking for us. Um let's see. Quests. Speak to Neely Headless Nick. Okay. Did we unlock anything else? Oh. No, just those glasses we found. Okay, so up here, and another turn. Come on. There you go. What's that? You had something? Let's <laughs> that. Oh wait, um... How do I do this? Incendium. I don't know. It's part of some sort of puzzle. Incendium. Part of some sort of puzzle, I don't know. Oh, it's got numbers on it, look. Four, three. So I was supposed to spot Rebellion. something else. Um, which I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is that a flu flame on it? Do I have to wait for nice. No jingle meaning nothing to collect. No jingle, but I see there's a statue there and there's also a chest thrown from it. Why isn't a sound coming out? Let's see, um, that.
Revelio. Where was that chest? It's weird. I could see it on the other side of the wall. So I was here, I did that. There it is. Oh, it's inside here. Locked behind the lower mora. Great. <laughs> Another chest I can't get. Huh. Find a lot of stuff. Revelio. Chest for there. I don't know how to get into that room, but we got a side quest before hey, heading in, look. It's me, Gareth. Do you the have Troublemaker. That was an interesting class. <laughs> that was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp nope. may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. He seems genuinely like a nice promise, teacher. Fewer explosions. Um, why have we still got a side question? A uh, question thing above you. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. I can't wait to see what you brew up here. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings secret for me. Secret passage? Yeah. I'd be happy to. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Can't someone buy them for you? Isn't this stealing? I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first a one, one to taste my which newest brew you, you looking can be for. a help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, so I had a lot of jingles then. Ah, one of those doors again, oh no. So a one-eyed witch statue on the third floor. Revelio. Hello, Paige. This looks like the right statue. What well, that password. Descendium. That we came across that by luck, didn't we? <laughs> I thought Goodness. it was going to be higher up. Who knew this was all down here? Huh. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. No. Can't jump across. Do I have any other spells? Um, repair or okay, that yeah, I get it. So repair or for that a repair. I need to fix the lift before I can use it. So rarely use repair or um, put the other one back on now. 
That and seems to have done the trick. Anything else? There's a chest in the back, I believe. Chest again. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Sometimes we should be like a lot of spiders down here. Chest to the left. Ah, oh, I see spiders and look. Spider webs. <laughs> Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Don't see anything. Where is this leading? It's just going back to where I came from, isn't it? Is this another way round? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Incendio. Rebellion. Okay, so we got some sort of platform. How am I supposed to get out of here? Let me open. Ah. Ah, I see. You can climb up. I'm an idiot. Rebellion. I'm going to have to get past this. Let me open. Maybe I'll go around the other way. Look at all the stuff down here. Rebellion. It's all chests across here too. Yeah, there's a little hidden hole that we can go to. Let's swim a little bit faster. That is it. Yeah, like frogs. Yeah, I'm terrible in ice every time. <laughs> I'm always looking for loot. And the thing is, the loot you have will only probably last you maybe a half hour before you find something more powerful. All right, we need repair or still. I thought we were done with that. Repair. Let me open. Whoa. Whoa, almost fell off. Incendio. Repair. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Here we go. That did the trick. Rebellion. Doesn't look like there's anything else. That's too bad. How you go, monster? This must be the way out. Dueling gloves. Definitely looked like that was going to be a path that led somewhere, but nope. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Okay, we made it. We did the old tunnel. Found everything there is to find, I believe. Oh, <clears throat> here I come. 
honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? There's a sticky spoon on your side. Rebellion. Oh, don't tell me it's locked. Oh, I thought that was a lock behind, like a, a, another one of those other more things. Billy Wiggs things. Now back to Gareth. Yeah. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Don't want to paint the flowers. Can we go there? No. Ah, it's this shop. Why am I walking so slow? Hello. Come on, walk faster. There you go. Now you can do it. Let's explore if there's any more side quests over here, I guess. Nothing's appearing on the map. Okay, let's uh, fast travel then. Um, so we need to go to Hogwarts. Um, go to the flag, select. There you go, that's the closest flu flame to um, travel. It does remind me of Assassin's Creed a lot, the combat, the movements. Some of the spell stuff, you can hide in bushes too in there, I notice. But the combat is almost like um, Dark Souls, but without the stamina. <laughs> Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Fizzing whiz beer. Okay, is that done? Did we get anything? 180 XP. Okay. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Oh. Uh, follow me, if you will. Uh, it's not too far. Wait. One second before I follow you. you. And that it's missing pages. Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Revelio. I'm almost gonna have two levels in this video. It's a truth thing. Of... But I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Yeah? What would you like? Revenge hmm. against whoever made you lead Edwards. In exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. Revelio. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Why are we moving so slow? Come on, Neely Edless, Nick, move faster. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh, I suppose I... But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Sound look around here. Nothing, okay. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, Rebellion. Tickle the pear and head on in. Tickle, Did you the say pear. tickle the pear. Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not 
One second, let me just look around here, Nick. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at her looking there, so, so cross with me, tickling the pain. student never will the understand students. Rebellion. Some delicious food found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know Sorry. how they make root. Ah, oh, I need a little more. Uh... Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. I'm beating you. It's a flu flame over here. Let's interact with that. It smells glorious in here. Oh, it's above me, is it? Must be above me. Rebellion. And over here. We go. Black leather gloves. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you conjure food here? Are you restricted to certain foods? You don't mind students here. Yeah. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Mm -hmm. Herquin's pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. It sounds like a voice that would be on like a CBeebies show. Definitely sounds familiar. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Okay, I think we've got everything it is to get in this room. Oh, oh he's in cutting up. <laughs> Trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? The roast beef wasn't for you. What will we do? I'm getting assisting your hostess. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Okay. Very well. That sounds like, like we'd be allowed to, doesn't it? He's just using us. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. I thought Neil Yedless Nick was always like a good guy, but it sounds like he's just using us here.
Not a fan of his voice in this, but come on, the movie I, I John Cleese, of course I was bad. Hey, mister, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him. My I don't know what people. head he was holding. It's the least I can do for you for... Bringing this putrescent gift home. Putrescent? Wow. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Ah. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. He just wanted to play the sporting game of tossing around his head. So, there's a bridge of two candles. You gotta light two candles, okay? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Rebellion. You're going there? It's a bien there. It's bien there. Oh, right. One of those. Um, is it two? There you go. Rebellion. Next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. Um, ah, this shows blue. I think I ain't got a spell to deal with that. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed, it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Five times. You know, Dumfrey mm -hmm. will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw... I hope it's I'll not a timer on this. <laughs> Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! I've Let never seen a plate like this. How delightful. Incendio. What's going on? Stop. 
I'm destroying them all. My finest moment. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Revelio. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful! Good job on some luck. It won't be long now. You will find him. Revelio. I would have thought a mortal would be so good at this. You've almost got him. Why did I come back? Rebellion. Oh, Don't see any of them moving about this playing. time. Over there. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Revelio. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Hmm. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Right. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? Looks like you me. <laughs> Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say... Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Watch in the cave, who cut off your head. Oh, John. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. <laughs> After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically. Maybe it's an ancient magic is when one of the knights cut their head off. Beware of a light breeze. Very well. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Okay. Quest complete. Yeah, so we went up two levels this video. So let's just see if I've completed any challenges for more um, clothing items. Let's see challenges. Let's say we've done field guide ones. Let's see. So this one, we've got a Hogwarts regalia and symbol. Okay, we've got to find 50 more field pages. Um, if we go to gear now, we can check out all the new stuff we found this video. So let's see. Oh man, I like the gold tier stuff. Let's see, is it black leather gloves? Oh, everything's better. Um, I think I'm going to keep the gold thing then, because I can sell at 200 gold is quite a lot of value, and I'll destroy the others because we only got what's that six spaces left? Yeah, destroy, destroy. Um, glasses. Twenty nine defense, and that's got twenty defense. So this one's better. So let's destroy that. Destroy that. Also, let's hide these glasses so they're not visibly seen on my character. There we go. 
hats. We got a few hats. Um, 28 defense. 32 defense. So let's put on the 32 and delete these. Interesting hat. Too bad I can't see it. Haha. <laughs> Just keep in the defense. We got a new one handle. Okay, I like that. Good that they don't take up gear slots. New robes. Let's see. So the offense goes up to 30. It's pretty disgusting, I will admit. Uh, good thing you can change it into almost anything that you've already unlocked. Um, that's cool. None of them's like open topped. Yeah, that's the one I was wearing, right? The cape, yeah. That's the better looking one. Okay, the suit. This is 26 defense, and uh, yeah, everything's the same. Okay. Except for this one's level 50 and this one's level 12. So let's destroy that one. And I can put on the other clothes I was wearing. There we go. There we go. I just like this look right now. I'm kind of used to this one. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here and continue on from here in the next video where we'll be apparently heading to a cave to find Jackdaw's body and the missing pages. So yeah, bye everybody. Thanks for dropping in. I hope you've been enjoying watching this game. I definitely recommend getting it. There's a lot of controversy because, controversy you know, the... Uh, writer of the world of Harry Potter is a complete you know, the moron <laughs> but yeah other than that I will say this game I definitely recommend it, it's a lot of fun to play they did an amazing job with it I, I really enjoy it so yeah, bye everybody, take care see you in the next one, bye